Rapunzel and the disappearing colors. Once upon a time, there was an incredibly beautiful girl named Rapunzel. Her hair was so long that when she was sleeping, her hair reached out of the door. In the mornings, she would wake up and stand in front of the mirror to talk with her dear friend Clapsy, who was an enchanted hair clip. <laughs> Good morning, Clapsy. Did you sleep well? Ah, <sighs> actually, I still need to sleep. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Would you like to go to the garden and pick some fruit? The sun is shining, and I can't climb as well as you can. <sighs> you can, of course you can. Just use your hair. Hmm. Okay. Rapunzel left Clapsy in front of the mirror to sleep, and she went to the garden. There was a beautiful cherry tree. That was so lovely that when she saw it, her cheeks blushed. Rapunzel used her hair to climb up into the tree, and sat on a thick tree branch, and she began to eat the cherries. Mmm. Her cute dragon friend Drado appeared, flying towards her in the sky. I'm down here, Drado. Hi. Woohoo! Drado came to Rapunzel. He landed on the ground, but he seemed upset. What happened, Drado? Why are you so upset? Drado gave a flower to Rapunzel from his mouth. Flowers are always colorful, but this one was a pale gray color. But. That's so strange. This is usually a very colorful kind of flower. Why does it look so pale and sickly? Drado pointed at the grass behind Rapunzel with his head. When she bent down and looked at the grass, she saw that the beautiful color green was fading away. What's happening? Is there something harmful in the soil? And then a few cherries fell to the ground from the tree. And as they hit the ground, their fresh red color turned pale and faded to gray. No! If we can't find why this is happening, everything beautiful in nature will disappear. Rapunzel went to work to try to save the colors of the forest. But deeper in the forest, the witch Camilla, who lives at the top of a tower stretching to the sky, was casting a terrible spell. Brew me, brew me, my dear broom. <laughs> Do you see how Rapunzel is upset about this spell? <laughs> Even the magic broom Broomy was scared of Camilla. Mom, you're casting a really powerful spell, but what if the spell takes away the color here and you lose your beautiful red hair? Don't worry, Broomy. Nothing will happen to us. <laughs> Now, let's put these golden bowls inside the boiling cauldron. After Camilla added the golden balls to the cauldron, Broomy, Broomy looked out through the window. And she saw the forest. Everything in the forest was losing their colors. Leaves, trees, even some insects. Camilla came to the window, and when she looked out through the window, <laughs> soon. 
soon, Rapunzel will come to me. <laughs> and when she comes, Broomy, with this special elixir in my hands, we will imprison her in this tower again. <laughs> the Wicked Witch Camilla waited for Rapunzel to come. Rapunzel was on the road with her friend Clapsy. Do you see, Clapsy? Look what had happened to this green forest. Even the sun is about to lose its color. I wonder if this is an evil spell from the witch Camilla. Yes, it is so sad to see the forest like this. Aren't you afraid that Camilla can hurt us too when we meet her? No, we can protect ourselves. Besides, we don't have any other choice if we're going to save the color in the forest. Yes, you're right, Rapunzel. After a bit more walking on the road of the forest, Rapunzel and Clapsy arrived at the tower where the witch lives. Camilla! Camilla! Inside, Camilla heard Rapunzel's voice and knew Rapunzel had arrived. You see, Broomy, Rapunzel fell into my trap. <laughs> Come on. Fly down and bring her here. Broomy Broomy flew out of the window and down to Rapunzel. I came to take you to Madame Camilla. Rapunzel got on the broom and they flew to the witch Camilla. <laughs> Welcome, golden-haired Rapunzel. To what do we owe this pleasure? Camilla... All the colors in the nature are disappearing one by one. If you're behind this, you're going to stop immediately. <laughs> stop? Do you see this boiling cauldron, Rapunzel? This cauldron will keep on boiling until all the colors disappear. <laughs> Rapunzel walked to the boiling cauldron. <gasps> oh. oh no, no, no! Why are you doing this? Camilla snuck up behind Rapunzel, poured the elixir into her hair. <laughs> no! Stop! Immediately, Rapunzel's golden, magical hair began to lose its color. What's happening? Ah, my hair! What? what? My hair! The magic potion did its work, and Camilla's hair began to grow long and golden. <laughs> and from now on, your golden hair will be mine forever, Rapunzel. Uh, no! 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 And then... Rapunzel awoke. She had never even gotten out of bed. No, my hair. Rapunzel, what's wrong? Good morning, time to get up. And it had all been a terrible bad dream. Huh? What, morning? Oh. Rapunzel got out of bed and looked out through the window. Everything was in its own color. The forest was green as always, and the sun was shining brightly. I saw such a horrible nightmare, Clapsy. All the colors of nature were disappearing one by one. Flowers, grass, trees. After that, Camilla was stealing my hair and adding them to her hair. Can you believe that? Fortunately, none of them was real. It was just a dream, that's all. After her horrible dream, Rapunzel stood at the window and stared at the beautiful, peaceful view. She put her brush to her favorite colors and began to draw the picture of this beautiful forest. Of course, she wasn't aware that Camilla's plans were working perfectly. Hmm, yes. <laughs> now I can control your dreams, Rapunzel. <laughs> Soon your golden hair will be mine. <laughs>
Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a very beautiful girl named Rapunzel. One day, this beautiful girl went for a stroll in the forest with her best friend, Clapsy. You know what, Clapsy? Sometimes I want to name all of these flowers you see. For example, look, its name is Cotton Candy. This beautiful one is Red Full Moon. <laughs> While Rapunzel and Clapsy were having fun among the flowers, somewhere far away from them, Silly Dwarf, one of the little friends of Snow White, was lost in the forest. Help! Help! Anyone there? I'm sinking! Oh, look, Rapunzel, let's name... Hush, hush, Clapsy. Do you hear that? Uh, help, hear what? Help! Anyone there? I'm sinking! Someone needs help, Clapsy. Rapunzel put Clapsy on her hair and started running fast. It turns out that Silly Dwarf fell into a swamp and sunk almost completely. As soon as he cried out, Rapunzel came to his rescue. Oh, here I go! Huh? There he is! Hang on, we'll save you! Rapunzel held her hair tightly and threw it towards the silly dwarf in the swamp. You can do it with one hand! Come on, hold it tight! Okay, I've got it! Pull me out! Mm -hmm. whoa, whoa. Thanks to Rapunzel, the silly dwarf was saved from the swamp. But this time he was caught in a tree. Oh, whoa, my hat's still on. Oh, help, I'm stuck up here. <laughs> you little silly. Huh? What? How did you know my name is Silly? No, I don't. I was just laughing at your silliness. <laughs> Here, catch it. Silly Dwarf slipped down from the tree, clinging to Rapunzel's hair. Well, thank you. You saved my life twice. This forest is full of surprises. You should always be careful. Silly Dwarf was stunned when he saw a talking hair clip. Great Golden Dwarves, is that a talking hair clip? Her name is Clapsy. She was turned into a hair clip with a terrible magic by the witch. She has a sad story. And I am Rapunzel. So, who are you? I am Silly Dwarf. I am one of Snow White's tiny friends. Oh, I should have guessed. Silly Dwarf. Do you know Snow White? Yes, of course I know her. Today is Snow White's birthday. A very nice birthday party will be held at the castle. Would you like to join us? Oh, that's a great idea, isn't it, Clapsy? If there's birthday cake, how can I say no? <laughs> well, let's go before it's too late. Follow me. After the silly dwarf, Rapunzel, and Clapsy walked a little, the silly dwarf suddenly stopped. Hmm, Rapunzel, I think we're on the wrong path. We will go this way. Oh, um, no. Uh, yeah, maybe this way. Oh, this way. This, I remember here. That way. Uh, no, that way. This way. This way. While Silly Dwarf was running in different directions, he was confused about all the different paths. Silly, if you can't find the right way, the whole party will be over after we arrive. Rapunzel and Silly Dwarf were unaware that they came somewhere near the cave of Hela while they were looking for the right way. My queen, good news, good news, good news. What is it, Dunkov? You're bothering me. 
my queen, please come and see with your own beautiful eyes. <laughs> when Hela looked down from her cave, she saw the silly dwarf and Rapunzel. I can't believe it. Come on, Dunkov. Let's catch that dwarf so that Snow White will come to us again. <laughs> Hella created a magic ball made of jelly between her hands and waved it down the cave slope. The jelly ball got bigger as it rolled down. Wow, look, my queen, like a giant ball of crepe jelly. While the silly dwarf, Rapunzel, and Clapsy were trying to decide the way to go, unaware of everything, Hella's magical ball hit and imprisoned silly dwarf. Hey, where did this come from? Smells like grape jelly. Oh, what is that? What's happening? I didn't do anything. I, I didn't do anything. Help! Until Rapunzel understood what was going on, Silly Dwarf started to rise towards the sky. Huh? Hey! Oh, no! As the Silly Dwarf comes closer to the sun, my magical jelly ball will be melted and... We'll turn into a piece of cake? <laughs> no, Dunkov. We'll be melted and... While Hella was telling her treacherous plan, Silly Dwarf kept on rising to the sky. Rapunzel, on the other hand, tried to use her hair immediately to save the dwarf. She tried once, twice, huh? but she couldn't save the silly dwarf. Aww. Rapunzel, Drado, let's call Drado and we can fly to the sky with his wings. That's a great idea, Clapsy. Rapunzel handed her hair to the breeze and shook it to the left and to the right. Drado, who was eating dragon fruit at the time, noticed Rapunzel's hair asking for help. He figured there must be something wrong, so he took off immediately into the air. Drado, we will fly towards the sun. We must help Silly Dwarf. Rapunzel got on Drado and they started to fly towards the sky together. The air got warmer as they got closer to the sun. Although Drado was affected by the heat, he continued to fly with all his might. Silly Dwarf rose so high from the earth that the forest seemed tiny below. Help! 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 I don't want to fall into Hella's cave! As soon as the magical jelly ball completely melted, Silly Dwarf started to fall to the earth. Oh, I'm falling! Oh, I'm falling! Oh, oh. Drado caught Silly Dwarf with one last flap as he was about to fall completely. Oh, well that was close. That is the third time. We saved your life three times. You sure did. Where did this big bird come from? <laughs> He's a dragon, my friend Drado. Finally, Silly Dwarf, Rapunzel, and Clapsy found the castle of Snow White, thanks to the dragon Drado. Hey, look, there's the castle. Silly Dwarf immediately ran to Snow White. My princess, I'm back. Where have you been? We looked for you everywhere. We were so worried about you. I got lost in the forest, and unfortunately I got caught by Hella. Hella? Rapunzel and her friends saved me. Rapunzel, Clapsy, big giant dragon. Here's my birthday present for you, Snow White. Snow White was so happy to see Rapunzel. Also, she thanked them for saving Silly Dwarf. Oh my! What a wonderful surprise! Nice to see you! Happy birthday, Snow White! 
Thank you. Come on, let's go to the castle and have some fun. These two beautiful princesses danced and had fun all night at the birthday party. Hella and Dunkov, on the other hand, were still waiting for the magical jelly ball to melt and the silly dwarf to fall. Well, my queen, I wonder if your jelly ball didn't melt yet. It was supposed to be melted already. Dunkov, go and check. See if the silly dwarf is still hung up in the air. All right, my queen. I'm leaving right now. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a witch named Camilla. This witch could only touch things that were golden. Even her flying broom assistant, Broomy, had to have a stick made of gold. Oh, Broomy, my dear broom, our golden balls are very few. We need Rapunzel's hair. Do you have plans for this, Your Majesty? Camilla took the glass globe and started to watch Rapunzel. She saw a dwarf standing next to Rapunzel. Actually, I have a plan, Broomy. And if I succeed, I can trap not only Rapunzel, but also anyone who is around her. Camilla came to the boiling cauldron and started to make one of the most powerful spells she knew how to conjure. She added two stones, some thread, a purple potion, and two golden balls into a large iron kettle. The cauldron frothed and boiled with apparent success, and a tiny tower appeared. <laughs> it's done. It is our tower, isn't it, Your Majesty? Yes, exactly, Broomy. The tower where we once imprisoned Rapunzel. But this time, itty bitty, incy wincy. <laughs> okay, but how will Rapunzel fit in there, Your Majesty? Don't worry, my bumbling Broomy. All we need is for Rapunzel to touch the tower. <laughs> With her tiny magical tower, Camilla got on her magical broom broomy and set off to the place where Rapunzel was. At that time, Rapunzel was heading to Snow White's castle with her friends Drado the Dragon, Silly Dwarf, and Clapsy, her talking hair clip. Thank you again, Rapunzel, for saving me from the swamp and the tree and that scary hella lady. You must be much more careful walking in the forest. I would think you'd know all the paths to Snow White's castle really well. We were almost about to miss the birthday party, and I would be very sorry if I couldn't eat cake. Don't worry. I remember the rest of the road. Well, shouldn't we stop to get a birthday gift for Snow White? Actually, I had made her a flower necklace because she loves necklaces so much. So, where's the necklace? I dropped it in the swamp. But I think you can be my gift. You have such a huge dragon with you. What could be better than that? <laughs> You're so smart, silly dwarf. Since Snow White loves necklaces, I can make her a flower necklace. Rapunzel assembled a very beautiful necklace for Snow White. Clapsy also made a box out of leaves. And Rapunzel put the flower necklace inside it. Meanwhile, the witch Camilla was secretly flying above them. You see, Broomy? She has a box in her hands. Now we will just swap that for this magic tower. <laughs> 
Camilla beamed a magical ray of light from the end of her broom right on the leaf box that Drado carried on his back, which caused the box made of leaves to open. Camilla sent the tiny tower in her hand through the magical beam right into the box and quickly closed the package tightly without Rapunzel or Silly Dwarf noticing. And that's it, Broomy. My plan is just that simple. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Camilla quickly moved away from there. After completing almost all the preparations for the birthday party, Snow White ran to the castle's garden. Even in the garden, there were a lot of people that came for the birthday party. Please move to the castle hall. Our party will begin soon. <laughs> Meanwhile, Snow White's best friends, the seven dwarves, were in a hurry. What's going on, Ace? My princess, we didn't tell you, but we've been looking for Silly Dwarf since this morning. I think he's lost somewhere again, or something bad happened to him. And just then, the Silly Dwarf entered the garden. My princess! Silly, where have you been? Silly Dwarf told everything that happened in the forest. Then he invited Rapunzel and her friends to the castle's garden. Snow White was very, very happy to see Rapunzel. What a wonderful surprise this is! It's really nice to see you, Snow White. Happy birthday! Rapunzel gave the gift in her hand to Snow White. Thank you, Rapunzel. Come on, let's go to the castle and have fun. Everyone went to the castle hall and began to dance happily. Even Dragon Drado showed all his dance skills to everyone who came for the birthday. Snow White went to the gifts given to her. Among all the other large and small gifts, she chose Rapunzel's gift to open first. She really liked Snow White, so she was curious about what the gift was going to be. Oh! What a beautiful tower this is! I love it! But as soon as Snow White touched the tower, she quickly shrunk and was trapped inside the tower. Help me! Help! Help me! No! Did you see that? Rapunzel and the seven dwarves had seen what happened and ran to her immediately. Rapunzel! This tower! The tower that Camilla imprisoned me in! This must be Camilla's doing! But she caught the wrong person! So what are we going to do now? How are we going to save the Snow White? Snow White could see everyone from the tiny window of the tower. They all looked very huge from her little prison. Rapunzel told her not to worry, and that she would save her by undoing the magic spell. Drado, get ready! We are going to the real tower! Rapunzel jumped on Drado with the tiny tower and flew to the real tower, where she had been imprisoned long ago. As they approached, Broomy, the magical broom, saw the lights coming out of the glass globe and told Camilla right away. It's done! I did it! My glass globe says Rapunzel was trapped into the tower. <laughs> Let's go and get her. Camilla got on her flying broom and set off. Broomy stopped suddenly as he saw Dragon Drado to approach them. Ah, I see a dragon. A huge dragon! Grrr. No, no, no! It's Rapunzel! So, who's trapped in the tiny tower then? I don't know, Broomy, but we have to stop that dragon! Camilla started shooting powerful spells at Drado one after another. While Drado was dodging the spells, Rapunzel was trying to hold on tight 
so she wouldn't fall to the ground. Drado! This is Camilla's magic. Be careful! We need to reach the tower. Drado started to spray fireballs on Camilla. Broomy Broom didn't want to catch on fire, so began to fly away. Uh, stop! I said stop, Broom! Where are you going? Go back, I said. Back! I command you! Drado slowly approached the top of the Great Tower. And Rapunzel made a bridge with her hair and jumped through the window. Then she placed the tiny tower in her hand in the middle of the room. Oh, please let this work. I hope the magic spell will be undone. Everything will revert. Please, please, The please. small, tiny, teeny weeny tower trembled. And after that, it started to rise from the ground. And then there was a strong burst of light and Snow White appeared out of the tower. Snow White! Oh, the reverse spell worked! Hooray! Oh, Rapunzel, I'm saved! Thank you! We have to go, Snow White. I'm sure everyone in the castle is very worried about you. Snow White and Rapunzel soon returned to the birthday party in the castle. The seven dwarves and guests were very happy to see their Snow White safe again, and at the right size. I just wanted to give you a necklace as a gift, Snow White. I didn't realize that a spell had been put into the box. You saved my life. That was the best gift you could ever give me, Rapunzel. Although Snow White and Rapunzel were the princesses of different lands, they always protected each other and kept each other safe, because friendship and love were the most valuable things in this world. Witch Camilla, on the other hand, was very angry when she found out that she had caught Snow White instead of Rapunzel. Grr, I can't believe it! My plan has turned upside down! Who could predict that? I want the golden blonde hair, Broomy! Not the... Snow White! Once upon a time, in the lush green countryside, there lived a very beautiful girl named Rapunzel. She rode her horse in the forest to welcome Prince Rob, who was coming from a very long way. Rapunzel had a kind heart, so when her horse got tired, she decided to stop a while and rest. Rapunzel, do you think when I manage to make the dragon Drado laugh, will the spell on me really break? If the evil witch Camilla told us the truth, then yes, Clapsy. After their rest, Rapunzel and Clapsy mounted up and continued riding again. Prince Rob had missed Rapunzel very, very much and was looking for them. Come on, Rapunzel, where are you? At that moment, the prince saw someone approaching. Thinking it was Rapunzel, he shouted out. Hey, hoo-hoo, I'm here, I'm here, Rapunzel, hey. But he was mistaken. It was not Rapunzel. It was Camilla, the evil witch. We're very close to the prince, your majesty. It's time to cast the aging magic. Camilla got off her flying broom before approaching Prince Rob. She used her magical gold fan to cast a spell on her face. The magical wind of the fan turned Camilla into a very old woman. Who would not want to help such an adorable old woman? <laughs> As the smoke faded away, 
Camilla started walking towards the prince. Oh, alas, she is not Rapunzel. When Prince Rob realized that the person approaching was an old lady, he immediately went over to her and asked if she needed anything. Oh, son, yes, yes, I really need your help. Just say the word. I will do whatever I can. Listen, Sonny, I received a letter from my brother, but I can't read. <laughs> I'm so sorry, ma'am. Why can't you read? Come closer and take a look at my eyes, Sonny boy. Prince Rob had a close look at the old woman's eyes and saw that the eyes could not stay still. They were whirling. Ah, I get it now. So you want me to read this letter, right? Because you're having that issue with your eyes. Yes, kind-hearted Sonny. Please read. But let me also say that my ears don't hear too well either. Well, that's no problem, ma'am. I can just read the letter loudly. Disguised as an old woman, Camilla handed the piece of paper to Prince Rob. Hmm, this letter is written so small, I might have a little difficulty. Come closer, Sonny, to the paper. Prince Rob looked very, very closely at the paper and started to read. It's tinier than tiny, whiter than white, more striped than striped, more inked than ink, and very light like a feather. If you look closer, it will cut you as a paper. Huh? Before long, smoke surrounded Prince Rob and suddenly turned into a piece of paper. Huh? The prince had not just read a letter, but the words of an evil spell. <laughs> Look at him, Broomy. A paper prince. <laughs> Your magic worked, your majesty! <laughs> Prince Rob was left there as a piece of paper. Camilla got on her flying broom broomy and immediately ran away. But she didn't realize that she had dropped the paper with the spell on it. And then Rapunzel finally galloped to Prince Rob. As soon as she saw the paper shape of the prince, she was very confused. My prince, what happened? What did this journey do to you? No, Rapunzel, the prince looks like a piece of paper. Yes, just like a piece of paper, thin, light, and... At that time, a very strong wind blew. Prince Rob could not stand the wind and began to fly in the air like a piece of paper in the wind. For that's what he was. Oh no, this wind will take the prince away. Just as the wind was carrying Prince Rob towards the river, Rapunzel caught the prince in one move by using her long hair. Oh, that was close, Clapsy. Rapunzel saved the prince from getting wet in the river. But then dark clouds began filling the sky. Well, great. And now it's going to rain. If the prince gets wet, we may never be able to save him. Rapunzel decided to take the prince and go to the castle with his horse quickly. But Clapsy shouted after her and stopped her. Hey, Rapunzel, wait! Look! I found a paper on the ground! Rapunzel picked up the paper Clapsy had found and realized that there were magical words written on it. It's tinier than tiny, whiter than white, more striped than striped, 
Rapunzel, stop! Don't read those words! Otherwise, you might be affected by magic, too! Ah! Yes! Maybe if we tear up the paper, it might break the spell before it rings, Clapsy! Do you think it'll work? Rapunzel tore the magical paper into many pieces and then called out for her friend, the dragon named Drado. Drado! Hearing Rapunzel's voice, Drado flapped his huge wings and came to Rapunzel. Drado, we don't have much time. With your strong fire, you have to turn these pieces of paper into ash right away. Drado opened his mouth wide to fulfill Rapunzel's request. and turned the magical pieces of paper to ash with the flame that he blew. And it worked. Prince Rob was freed from the spell, and he turned back into a human again. He didn't even realize what had happened to him. Rapunzel, you finally arrived. I haven't seen you for months. My prince, I missed you so much. I hope we are never apart that long again. As the dark clouds began to rain on them, Prince Rob and Rapunzel hugged each other in love and vowed never to leave again. And Camilla, the evil witch, who saw their happiness through the glass globe, was furious because those whose hearts are full of evil could never be happy. And those whose hearts are full of love live happily ever after. I had the strangest dream, Rapunzel. It was like I was very thin. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was an evil witch named Camilla who lived in a high tower. One day, Camilla found herself as an old lady when she opened her eyes. She went to look at herself in the mirror. Hmm. Ah! No! Oh, no! My fan! My fan! Camilla was so upset by her appearance that she went and tried her magic gold hand fan. Nothing happened when she should have gotten younger as she shook the fan. Why isn't this hand fan working? Camilla needed gold to get younger and survive. She was getting this gold from the long blonde hair of a very beautiful princess named Rapunzel. Your Majesty, maybe there is a solution for you in the Book of Spells. Book of Spells? Yeah, let me go and take a look. Aha! (laughs) I think I found it! (laughs) However, Camilla was not very happy with the magic spells she had found amongst the pages of her book. For according to the spells, she could only get younger if she did three favors in a row. Three favors? You've got to be kidding me. We're not too good at doing favors, your majesty. If only there was a magic made with something you were actually good at. I don't know how to do a favor, Broomy. And it says three favors. Oh, maybe you can ask Rapunzel. She is a really good girl, isn't she? Learning to do a favor from Rapunzel. Hmm. As the evil witch had no better solution, she finally gave this idea a chance and went to Rapunzel. Meanwhile, Rapunzel was drinking tea with Cinderella and Snow White in a beautiful garden. Did you like the tea? It was great, Rapunzel. We loved it. The evil witch Camilla paused to think when she saw the princesses having tea time together. You see, Broomy? The princesses seem to have gathered for a favor party. 
Ugh. Then she dived among the princesses with her flying broom. Oh! Ah. Oh! Witch Camilla, stay away from me and my friends. Take it easy, Rapunzel, sweetie. I'm not here to harm you. I came to ask you for help. I don't believe you, Camilla. Look at me, Rapunzel. I can't do you any harm this way. I need to learn how to do three great favors. Favors? Yes. If you teach me three great favors, I will not do you any harm again. Rapunzel thought about it and decided that she liked the idea that a mean person decided to do good. Hmm. Well, Camilla, I will help you. <laughs> Tell me, and I'll do it right away. The first great favor, the dry tree over there. Do you see it? Give it some water, and it will have lush leaves and bear beautiful fruit again. Even though Camilla grimaced at the thought of doing the favor, she immediately went and gave plenty of water to the root of the tree. And the tree instantly flourished and turned green again and was overladen with ripe fruit. On the way forward, I saw two huntsmen. Animals could be in danger. Go and save our friends. Camilla reluctantly got on her flying broom and intercepted the huntsmen who were driving away with a cart. The huntsmen were terrified when they saw both a flying broom and an ugly old witch. And they fled, leaving behind the caged animals. Then the old evil witch unlocked the cage with a spell. All the animals caught were now free again. Camilla returned to Rapunzel to seek what she must do for the third and final favor. Come on, Rapunzel, tell me the last great favor. Rapunzel thought long and hard about the last favor. Well, there may be injured creatures in this huge forest. Go through the trees, leave no stones unturned, and if you see an injured creature, help them. The evil witch Camilla again reluctantly set off deep into the forest. She wandered in it for most of the day. Then, all at the same time, she saw both a baby bear with a thorn in his paw, two cute children who lost their way home, and a crow about to attack a baby bird that fell out of its nest. Look at this chaotic rescue nonsense, Broomy. Which one am I going to help now? I'm confused too, your majesty. I think we're going to have an explosion of goodness. Camilla thought about it and decided to help the injured bear. She immediately approached the little bear and picked up the thorn that sank into his feet. While Camilla was thinking that this was her third and last favor, the lovely bear which got rid of the thorn scared the crow and chased it. When the two missing children saw the crow gone, they took the baby bird and took it back to its nest in the tree. Immediately after, the mother bird came. She described the way back to the city in order to reward these two cute children who had just saved her baby. Thus, the children went on the right track and reached their homes. While doing a favor, three favors happened at once, your majesty. And finally, completing more than three favors, Camilla had regained her youthful self in glitter. Oh, ah, finally I'm young again. <laughs> Rapunzel, who was secretly watching behind a tree this chain of kind favors that Camilla had done, revealed herself suddenly. Oh, I can't believe my eyes, Camilla. 
See how just one favor can result in many kindnesses toward others? No, 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 Rapunzel, no! Now I can continue to do evil where I left off. And I still haven't given up on your golden hair, too. <laughs> Good deeds are worth more than my hair, Camilla. Remember this. The evil witch got on her flying broom and went back to her tower. Before long, she began making sneaky plans to get Rapunzel's hair. And sadly, Camilla never realized that every good deed is worth more than gold. <laughs>